welcome back to another great tutorial by Pixflow. In this video, I will show you how to use the FX Master Pack in Premiere Pro to make the super cool scene for your motion videos, commercials, or social media videos. So let's dive in. Before we start, let's do a quick recap of the FX Master Pack installation process. The first thing we do is to extract the downloaded zipped archive. After the extraction process completed, open the folder. As you can see, there are two versions of the FX Master Pack, one for After Effects and the other for Premiere Pro. Also, there is a short video tutorial of the pack, which is really helpful. Now let's check out inside the Premiere version of the pack. Inside the folder, there are many incredible and useful categories, such as explosions, fire, smoke, transitions, and many more. And inside each category's folder, there is a mugart and an mp4 file of each element. Now let's create together the scene shown at the beginning of the video. First thing, open Premiere Pro, and after that, Open the Motion Factory extension by going to Windows, Extensions, Motion Factory. For more information on how to download and install the Motion Factory extension, be sure to check out our Motion Factory installation video on our YouTube channel. Let's get back to our project. In the first step, I will import the FX Master Pack into the Motion Factory extension. Click on this blue Import button on the bottom right corner of the panel. Then click Import Folder and select the FX Master PR folder. Now the pack has been easily imported into the Motion Factory extension. The next step is to import the footage that we want the elements to be placed on. For this footage, I'm going to choose a fire element. So on the timeline, I will select which part of the footage the fire will come out of the magician's hand. In the Motion Factory panel, I will pick the fire element that best suits the project. As you can see, when I place my cursor on each element, a short preview of it will be played, which is an excellent feature of Motion Factory. After I have chosen the fire element, I will drag and drop it onto the timeline and place it at the point of the footage that the fire will come out of the subject's hands. Now, I will adjust the element by changing its scale, position, and rotation, and adding keyframes for each frame. In this section, I will cut the fire, and you can do this by selecting the razor tool or hit C on the keyboard. Great, now let's choose and place an explosion element onto the timeline and adjust it. I will also pick another explosion. Adjust it and mask this part of the element. You can mask it by going to the Effect Controls panel and select Opacity. Now I will mask the part of the explosion that I want. Then with the Feather tool, I will make the selection a bit smoother. Another fantastic feature of Motion Factory is its ability to customize and edit the elements. For example, the pixelate option gives you the ability to pixelate the elements, which is pretty cool and handy for 16 and 32-bit games. The grid and drag options are great for deforming an element, mostly in After Effects. And you can change the element's colors too. You can also change element settings in Windows, Essential Graphics 
by why not have Motion Factory to make this process much easier and faster. Now I want to add a text to my project and you can either choose Type Tool or hit T on the keyboard and add the text onto the project. You can simply edit the text in the Essential Graphics panel such as the font style, color and font size. To animate the text, I will first place the anchor point in the center of the text and then change its scale and position. Then, cut and delete the part of the text layer which I don't need and after that place it under the other layers. Now we are ready for our next step, which is to edit and match the text's appearance with the explosion elements. We can do this by going to the beginning point of the text layer, changing its scale to zero, putting a keyframe and selecting the keyframes, and then right clicking and choosing busier mode. I might need to put in a few more keyframes, so I'll keep readjusting the scale and position and adding keyframes till I'm completely satisfied with the result. Now I will scroll and play a bit with the keyframes and a tip is to select linear mode to make the keyframes smoother. Another great and useful tip is to search cross dissolve in the effects panel. Select it and drag and drop it at the end of both the text layer and the footage. Okay, so now that pretty wraps it up and we are ready to render our project. That's it everyone, we have created an easy and super cool video using the FX Master Pack in Premiere Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us and hit the notification bell to be the first notified of more video tutorials.